Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm a Virginian and today I'm ecstatic to be one. Um, we are the first southern state to vote to make the death penalty a non-existent thing. It's amazing. It's going to Ralph Northam's desk. He will sign it. This is one of his pet projects and he will absolutely sign it. For those of you who know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ralph Northam given, you know, the racism. But this is a good thing. This is a really good thing for Virginia. The death penalty has not been proven to be effective as a deterrent. It, uh, a lot of people that have had family members that um, died and then the person that murdered them didn't really get the closure that they thought they would from the death penalty. So it doesn't give closure, it doesn't give justice, and it doesn't deter. So it's an archaic form of state-sanctioned murder, in my opinion. There are very few cases in which I would support the death penalty, and though they would be mass shooters that admit to being mass shooters, and we know, or serial killers. That's where my death penalty would end. But because that's not the only thing I can have the death penalty for, I don't want it at all. Because let's look at a couple of, of cases, even with Donald Trump's federal cases just in the last few months. You had one person who didn't murder anyone. He lit the car on fire and he didn't murder anyone. And the person that actually shot the victims got a lighter sentence than the man that was executed and was a model citizen. The next person Donald Trump executed also did not actually kill the people he was accused of killing them. Somebody else did, who also got a lighter sentence. And that is not justice. That is a jury looking at someone and being like, I don't like you, so I'm going to state sanction and murder you. My husband actually brought up a valid point though. Is it okay to keep someone in prison, life in prison, or to offer them the death penalty? I don't believe in offering them the death penalty. I also think that it is not okay to keep someone in jail for life, that it can be torturous and whatever. Um, but I'm also a big fan of that's how, <laughs> if you're gonna murder someone, the, that, that's inappropriate. Because you can also appeal it, you have time to do things, and if you are eventually found innocent, you're not found innocent after you're dead because that's a possibility and it has happened a ton of times and it disproportionately affects the black and brown community. And anything that does not offer a fair amount of justice to the black and brown community and they are disproportionately affected by it is not something we should have in this country. So I am ecstatic. I'm really happy that Virginia did it. I'm very proud of them. The death penalty is archaic. We are one of the few first world countries that has kept the death penalty. And I'm hoping that it will be made federally illegal here soon, where Biden will make sure that federal executions don't happen. And then of course we have to worry about Texas, which has the highest execution rate. But I'm pretty sure that we are on the right path to ending this archaic system. So yay for Virginia. It took us years to go blue and I'm so happy we're there. All right, guys, I will see y'all later.